Well, he could have been in the top rank back round. We're here with uh, one of the top rank heavyweights in the world, uh, Brian Jennings. Uh, Brian, how's everything going? Everything's pretty good, man. Uh, Fred Jenkins Jr. got the win. Uh, I'm waiting on Jesse Hart to get the win, and then you know that'll be a wonderful night. Hey, you, there's been a lot of rumors about you lately. Uh, come off your big win over Mike Perez uh, back in the summer. Uh, Vladimir Klitschko and your name have been linked up the last couple of weeks in the news. What can you talk, talk, tell us about that? Um, well, I can clarify that it's definitely under consideration. Uh, it's a lot. It's 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 a lot. It's close. It's close to being complete. Uh, it, has, it hasn't been final yet. But uh, hey, man, it's a great opportunity for me. You know, uh, I'm just waiting. You know, I'm already ready. I'm, I'm pre-ready. You know, so I mean, I'm just waiting for the opportunity to uh, you know for it to close and you know for me to get working on it. Talk about the mindset. Uh, a high school football player. Uh, you're an athlete in high school. Yeah. You really didn't start boxing until you're in your late teens, early twenties. Now, now looks like, the, you know, nothing signed yet. Mm. You could be fighting for the the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I started boxing when I was 24. There are no late teens in here. Okay. Late teens, I was on the streets. You know, and uh, at 23, I was on the streets and all that. Uh, I played football when I was, you know, 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. You know, that's you know, that that it really didn't define me. You know, I'm a I was I was birthed to af you know to be an athlete. Um, you know my physique is you know it's always been this way, um, but you know to you know to come up on something like this is you know it's I guess it's a dream come true for you know I guess for other people. But success is my dream, and uh, you know a way for me to get you know reach reach other people and you know get out to the world and you know just be you know just be known and be able to represent myself. You know, at a greater extent, you know, that's that's a dream come true for me, for me as well. You said you start boxing like 24. Yeah, What would have told you at 22, 23? You're five or six years away from embarking. You know, obviously you have confidence in everything you do in life, but you're five or six years away mm -hmm. from embarking on something historic. Yeah, yeah, well, I definitely, uh, I mean, at 22, I still thought I was going to you know, go to the NFL, so... You know, because I was, I was still, I was still in shape. I was like, listen, I'm still running a great 40 time. You know, I'm still strong as an ox. You know, I was like, listen, something got to give. You know, so you know, I mean, I, I never knew it would be boxing. What uh, have you seen? Have you started your preparation just in case you get that fax and there's a contract there and uh, they just said Brian Sandy? Have you, have you started physical, mental? Uh, scouting preparation should this thing come to fruition? Um, well, this, this, what, what, what you mean, the whole boxing thing period? No, no, we oh, 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 this, oh, this, for this, this bout? quote, April 25th. Oh, part. yeah, uh, well, you know, I'm, I, every day is a mental, you know, it's a mental preparation. You know, you can't, you can't really, you can't go, you can't go a day without life without thinking. Like, so all of this stuff I'm ready for. You know, I've been ready, and, you know, I know the preparation it takes to get there. You know, upon me actually going through it, is the only thing that, that that I'm unaware of, you know. But you know, we plan for it to go smooth. You know, this is life I'm talking about. We ain't talking about the fight. You know, we plan for the next day or whatever to go smooth. And this is this is what we got to deal with. So you know, that's the type of person that I am. So therefore, when you come up with something with an opportunity like that, I'm ready. I was already ready. I was ready before I was ready. Have you um, maybe shut your eyes, whether it's before you went to sleep at night or during the day? And we know Vladimir always wears red trunks. Mm -hmm. Have you, have you envisioned the boss that? trunks. Have you, yeah, have you yeah, 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 yeah have the red boss. I, I, haven't, I haven't envisioned it yet. What I've envisioned is me, me, uh, me, me on my knees in the middle of the ring, crying because because I just you know crying for tears of joy, and um, that's the only thing I keep envisioning. Is Vladimir on the ground behind you? Uh, I don't know where he is, but I'm but I'm on my knees crying, looking up to the sky with my hands up, and saying, Yeah, though. There, there hasn't been a heavyweight title fight in America in quite some time. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, the, you're, uh, I guess, the first. I mean, there's a bunch of guys, you, Steve Cunningham, hopefully sometime later this year, Deontay Wilder, mm. who's your, your good Twitter buddy. Mm. Uh, yeah. You know, all within the year are going to be getting uh, legitimate cracks, hopefully, uh, for this heavyweight championship. Mm. Have you thought about... You know, the heavyweight championship will be back in America and may have to go through Brian Jones. Uh, well, yeah, well, you know, I, um, I'm thinking far, but I ain't thinking that far. You know, I'm just thinking of, I'm just thinking of, you know, a, a, a great catapult, you know, once I defeat, once I defeat my next opponent, you know, 
And, you know, because regardless of who it is, my next opponent will be for the heavyweight championship. So, um, you know, I, I, it stops there. You know, after there, you know, it's a reevaluation of how things are going to go. You know, there is no preparation for that. Now, you, I mean, like I said, we can plan for it. We can think we know what's coming up, but that's a crazy life. That's a life That's a life that we have to, you know, sit down and we got to think about. And, and we just take it one, one step at a time. But, but we're definitely prepared mentally, and we're definitely ready for whatever to come. You just uh, sparked a, 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 one of my last question, basically. You said, you know, your next fight's going to be the heavyweight championship. Mm -hmm. For the longest time, especially after the Perez fight was eliminator, mm -hmm. you were probably eyeing the Wilder Stavart yeah, winner because yeah, of the WBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, you know, it's kind of like you, you went in a right turn, possibly towards Klitschko. What, 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 what's that? Because I know you've probably been thinking about Wilder or Stavart probably for a couple yeah. months. Yeah, yeah, I have. But you know what? I mean, even, even thinking, even making a comment on that fight, I don't even think nobody wants to see it. I think people only want to see it because it's, it's going to happen. But other than that, it's just like it's no anticipation, really. I know, I know there's none, no anticipation for me to see it, and I'm not even anticipated about a winner. Yo, and I'm and I'm next in line, so it's just like it's still even yo know, even without the you know this, this close go talk and these considerations of yo know, yo know, April 25th, yo know, uh, and I only say considerations because it's, it's nothing that's final. You know that that is truth that you know we have we have planned to uh, you know to fight April 25th at Barclays Center, but nothing is final and it's all just almost you know uh, so so. It's not 100%, and you won't hear it from me to say it's 100% when it's not. So uh, that's how business is, is conducted, and, and you know, we, I'm going to leave it at that. And all, all things being equal, the WBC belt, and I, uh, it's just right now, it's just a slice of it. Vladimir Klitschko is the yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's the guy. He's the market, and, uh, and he's the opportunity. And he's worth, he's worth me putting it all on the line. Anything you want to say in closing before we maybe see you on April 25th against Vladimir Klitschko? Uh, well, you know, um, you know, it's your boy Brian Baba Jennings. Um, you know, I'm, I'm ready. I've always been ready. Um, live a clean life, doing what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean, uh, you know, just just looking at the game from a different perspective as well. You know, and you know, just educate myself on the business that I'm in. Um, you know, educate myself with you know with, with my health. You know, learning my body even more. And just and just knowing that you know life in the game you know you take it one day at a time, and you know we do what we got to do. And when that time comes, we got to be ready. Don't let them catch you with your work undone. Well, on April 25th, you could be the extreme elite class of the heavyweight division. Yeah, dog, could be, could be, could be, it could be. It's close, it's close. And, and uh, also, I want to congratulate uh, Vladimir Klitschko on you know heard he, heard his girlfriend just gave birth to a uh, you know to, to a daughter. daughter. Yeah, to a baby daughter, or whatever. Uh, yeah, I just heard that. I don't know if that's. You know, a fact fact, but you know, congratulations if it is. And you know, spend some time, do some daddy time. You'll love it. I think it's his first child, right? Believe so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll love it. You'll love it. You'll get a little soft, though. I don't know. I mean, you might have to, you know, eat some gangster cookies to get a little harder. Pause. But, you know, um, enjoy the time being a dad, and uh, I'll see you April 25th. Thank you. All right.